Welcome to this session on modeling concrete columns. The design of this building implements concrete columns and beams for the ground floor and steel for the upper floors, getting the student familiar with concrete framing tools and steel framing tools. In this exercise, you will learn how to use the concrete column tool to model concrete columns. First, ensure that the floor selector is set to ground floor. This will also ensure that the ACS is locked to the current floor. From the Ribbon Interface, Structural tab, Structural Elements group, select the Concrete Column tool. The Property panel opens, showing the Data Group Catalog properties for Place Column, and the Ribbon now displays the placement options for the placement of the columns. Data Group properties are the data or intelligence that can be assigned to any element in the BIM model. This can be graphical information, like the size of the column, but also other data like the material, the rating, or the construction phase. On the placement ribbon, set the placement to middle center. Set the section orientation to have an X offset of zero and a Y offset of zero. But set the base offset to minus five feet or minus 1500 millimeters. This will create the base of the column five feet or 1500 millimeters below the ground floor plate. Toggle Interactive Off and set the active rotation to zero. On the placement options, set the Place By method to grid and the length or height of the column to 20 feet or 6,000 millimeters. In the property panel, the catalog item should be set to Example Column Concrete Rectangular. This catalog item is delivered with the work set. Its default size is two feet by two feet in the U.S. dataset and 600 by 600 for the neutral metric dataset. Note the other properties that can be set for the column. The section name is 2 by 2 or 600 by 600. The structural finish should be architectural. The structural function should be structural. Note the family and part has already been defined by the selection of the column. The ID item ID can be C1. This will be used as a label on the drawings and in the column schedule. For the U.S. dataset, you might want to add an alternate name of 24 by 24. Again, this will be used as a label on the drawings. Set the phase to new construction. Following the prompts in the lower left and working in any view, drag the selection tool from the upper left to the lower right effectively selecting all the column grids. Note in the prompts that the control key will allow you to modify the selection set. We will deselect the minor grids as no columns are needed at these intersections. Hold the control key down and select the two minor grids, the ones with no grid bubbles. Following the prompts, left click in any view to accept the placement. The 20 foot or 6,000 millimeter length rectangular concrete columns are placed at the selected grid intersections. The base of the columns are at the Z elevation of minus 5 feet or minus 1500 millimeters below the ground floor plane as we set the base offset. Utilizing the place by grid option is a fast way to get the columns placed on the column grid. In the next session, the concrete beams will be modeled. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.